questions, see. that's the time to ask Barry Hearn awesome. about the, the possible future of snooker. But uh, I must say I'm delighted, with, particularly with all the qualifiers going to be coming to the English Institute of Sport because they have a fantastic World Snooker Academy down there and uh, brilliant facilities and I think it's a, it's a step in the right direction. Well, that's for the future. Let's concentrate on events right here once again as we get back to the semi-final. Four more frames to play this afternoon. Selby has just broken off and we will return you to the clutches of Dennis and John. Thank you, Hazel. And we just noticed that Mark Selby has broken off and a pretty good break off. There's a possibility that Crane could have a go at this red. A tough one. Oh, but what a shot that was. I wonder what he was doing at the interval, Dennis. Well, John, this is the reason they call him the pocket dynamo. What a shot. Eight. Nine. I think making that 84 break in the frame before the mid-session interval was a big boost for Graham Dots. It really was. And, well, to come out and knock a red like that in, well, we've seen it a couple of times. It's worth looking at it again. Tight on the bulk <coughs> cushion and straight in the center of the pocket. Great news to see that the World Championship staying at Sheffield a little 16. bit longer. And now we've got a post question for you. Are you pleased the world are staying in Sheffield? <coughs> Click on bbc.co.uk slash snooker and don't forget to click on the pulse. I think that would be pretty high, uh, John. Can they vote from China for this? Well, let me put it this way. There'll be a lot of people voting who've probably never been to the Crucible Theatre, but if you have one ambition in life, please try and get here and watch Snooker live. The atmosphere is just electric. It's as good as any theatre and any drama you'll go and see. do with a straight red in the middle pocket here. 24. But I don't think it is. It's finished a little awkward. That cannon just didn't work out as he intended. I thought he was on a red for the right middle pocket. But obviously it doesn't go. So it's a couple of difficult pots. The one, you see, that's the one he'd like to play, but that must be tight. Got the one to the left, the pink. There's no way he can get to the potting angle of that without playing it with side. Yeah, I think he's also got one to the right corner. But uh, he'd be running into other reds and would take a risk. No, he thinks he can get through to this one to the left middle. It must be tight. Good recovery there. 25. Yeah, there was talk a couple of seasons ago, John, about possibly moving the World Championship and even talk about it going to China. But I think, I mean, China's fantastic for our game of snooker. But they've got some super events, but, you know, the World Championship has got to remain in Sheffield. Thirty-one. I'm not sure it's saying anything else until I get the post result. Thirty-two. 
39. 40. Just overdone it a little bit there, but it's still okay. Or cannon onto that red, but it may have left them slightly hampered. 47. I think it has. A little shake of the head tells you that he's going to have to bridge over the other red. And the one to the middle pocket may be his choice. Can he avoid candling the two reds there back at the little bunch? couldn't but he's played it well 48 that's a good recovery <coughs> well we've got uh, the pulse involved in let's have a look 